I've got the complete latest Bloomberg article here on how Palantir's boot camps have ramped up and Bloomberg gets an inside look at how these have been going and shares it with the whole world. Palantir's AIP bootcamps is their latest strategy to ramp up the company and gain adoption for implementing their software at businesses around the world. During the AI craze, Palantir found, at least in their experience, a traditional Salesforce crew is not cutting it for them to help their customers make the transition and get meaningful value out of AI. So instead of going that traditional route, they came up with the boot camps. It's described by Bloomberg as part hackathon, part conference, and part party, going from one to five days. And for those who've been following it, it makes sense. These are engineers from Palantir, but also potential customers attending and working on building solutions, which in turn gives the experience to customers themselves to effectively use Palantir's tools, which, you know, in theory, has these customers over time become potential teachers and champions for the product on behalf of Palantir. Now, Komatsu, a large equipment manufacturer for mining and construction equipment, was quoted in the article calling Palantir a game changer. We've seen some of their demos and pop up from time to time as a major international commercial client for Palantir, and this was a prime example of how customers becoming a teacher for one of these boot camps. And Bloomberg also mentions how heavily Palantir is leaning into this strategy because of its focus during the latest earnings call, but notes there are still skeptics on the actual scalability to grow customers from this, and later on they comedically kind of in my opinion bring up one of the most bearish analysts around their counter arguments. Now Palantir has had a reputation for no salespeople for a while, and this was completely true until after they went public and even had management bringing up talking about scaling their workforce in the sales side. Now, the effectiveness at the time is still being questioned because we've since transitioned to AIP boot camps. And of course, teaching Palantir products from these Salesforce people doesn't seem to be the case, which is typically ran by FDEs or for deployed engineers. So there still may be a salesperson kind of presence, but still not the main focus of the organization as it sounds. And then juicily, expectations for the commercial business to overtake government and revenue is targeted for next year for the first time. But as noted, this is still highly reliant on boot camps from what we can see, and boot camps were credited with the big uptick in 70% growth in fourth quarter revenue for US commercial specifically last time. So CARP is still trying to sell on this and says there's exclusivity, basically saying there's a lot of demand more than they could meet. Now, this is a great stat and all, 500 boot camps took place last year, and this was near the end of the year considering it was still a new concept, and now they're slated to do about five a day. So if you estimate that, let's say only weekdays, 300 a year, you could say get around 1,500 in one year, where even they're bringing in European employees to help the United States here to help with the demand where it's mainly focused. Then they describe the event itself, just how these customers are showing the value of the tools from Palantir and solving their use cases. Now, Palantir engineers are able to walk through these attendees so they can figure out how to apply it themselves to their specific problems, as well as back to the Komatsu's presenter who was an early adopter back in November, and is quoted as saying you can literally do anything with this, which is a huge quote showing the power of Palantir, and describe what we knew all along that it's an operating system to build what's actually valuable for a customer. But not everyone still believes in the bootcamp methodology, and they bring up Rishi, probably one of the most bearish analysts to put a price target on Palantir at $5, basically saying that bootcamps are not making it easier for customers customers to use Palantir software, it's too complex, and calling it a pipe dream. When asking Palantir's Kawasaki about the comments, he says they can't do linear methods of trying to grow, like hiring a sales force, and both culturally and logistically just doesn't make sense to them, and that the demand for these boot camps is exponential, and then talks about how it can spread more and more due to that boot camp theory where creating more teachers from students themselves from these companies. Now, I'm still in the boat of wait and see because I want to see the customer numbers themselves actually grow exponentially, but if they're able to 3x the amount of boot camps ran this year versus last, I'd be curious to see what the bump would be this year. And as with anything, data is the lifeblood of AI right now and a constant issue for organizations all around. But that's the power of Palantir with their ontology and pipeline builder. And they close out describing the event with a professional driver drag racing customers down a racetrack and a customer quote from Joyce and Safety Systems saying he never heard of Palantir before, but like playing with the software and even saying if you're not completely sold, you can at least attend another boot camp. But let me know your thoughts below and I'll see you in the next video.